And in Health Check this morning, the next big thing in emergency medicine could be a device small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Health reporter Ali Gorman this morning, who is also a registered nurse, says it was created right here in Philadelphia from technology we're already very familiar with. For nearly a decade, scientists in this Drexel University lab have been at work developing the InfraScanner. In the blink of an eye, this handheld scanner goes to work, checking for signs of a head injury. The reading takes just five seconds. It uses light in the near-infrared frequency, the same type used by a TV remote control, to penetrate about two inches deep. The light passes easily through healthy areas. But where a dangerous blood clot has stopped blood flow, the light can't go through. That shows up in red on the handheld monitor that goes with the InfraScanner. In the past, patients couldn't be screened for clots till they got to a hospital with a CT scan machine. But with the InfraScanner, EMTs can do it at the scene of an accident or in an ambulance. That may make it easier to treat patients faster within the golden hour. That's the time frame doctors say that gives patients the best chances for recovery. This is one more way of being able to be faster at diagnosis of a problem to getting them to surgery. Eileen maloney Walensky is leading a team testing the InfraScanner at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. So far they've used it for 800 patients coming into the emergency room. Marine Commander Louis Becerra also got special permission to use the device during a deployment at a trauma center in Iraq. He's also excited about its potential. People that have no medical training have used it and uh, it's fairly reliable. We haven't ha have false positives with this device. InfraScanners won't replace CT scans in hospitals, but they could help monitor trauma patients at the bedside. The device is already being used in other countries. The Food and Drug Administration could approve its use here later this year. Allie Gorman, Channel 6, Action News.